After years of hard work, the exterior restoration of this Frank Lloyd Wright designed home in Milwaukee has been completed. And by December of 2009, the interior is nearly done as well. Hi, welcome to uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's American System Built Homes Model B1 at 2714 uh, West uh, Burnham Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we're coming into the living room. Um, the house was actually constructed in 1916, uh, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, part of a program of homes that uh, were designed for low and moderate income families. It's a little bit less than 850 square feet. It feels big uh, for being such a small house. Some of the things that uh, you might notice in the house, the fireplace is a very prominent um, fixture or element of the living room in such a small house. And, and this really reflects Frank Lloyd Wright's idea that uh, the fireplace is really the heart of the home and that a family would sort of uh, wrap its arms around the fireplace and, and this would be a gathering spot and a gathering uh, point for the family. Some of the other things that I think are quite uh, fabulous is when you're in a Frank Lloyd Wright space, um, there's always this idea of stealing space from one room to the next, if you will, or borrowing space. And so in this living room, instead of having a flat wall um, to terminate, um, you actually can, your mind's eye can take you off into space in into the front foyer area or off uh, into the hallway. Um, and then you have other elements, uh, for example, this built-in. Um, the built-in is, is, um, is really interesting space. It's really meant to do double duty. And so this millwork was all here uh, in 1916, but there's a space here for the dining room table. And so you would have pulled out the dining room table and, and the living room would have then become the dining room, sort of an efficient use of space. And then we have right above um, us on the ceiling, the light fixture, which would have been over the dining room. As we move into the kitchen area, um, we have a breakfast nook that um, contains original 1916 Frank Lloyd Wright furniture. Um, these are unique to the American system built homes. Um, all of the homes on this block uh, would have had a breakfast nook like this. And as we come through the kitchen, uh, we'll see that the marvelously uh, restored uh, kitchen space, um, everything you see here was actually original to the home uh, with some very minor exceptions. Uh, for example, the, this countertop at some point had been replaced with uh, modern Formica and, and one other countertop. But everything else has really been sort of just uh, disassembled, uh, straightened, refinished, uh, if you will, by some wonderful craftsmen in Milwaukee. Acker Millwork did all of the wood, and AD and Company did all of the staining and finishing, and, and the finishes here are, are hand rubbed. We did have to recreate one other uh, piece, and that is this cabinet uh, is a recreation. Uh, we had a, uh, when we purchased the home in 2004, this was actually a um, refrigerator space. So you had a modern refrigerator sitting here. Originally, this cabinet would have come all the way across and it would have been configured this way. And the area below is the cavity for an ice box. And so, of course, the ice men would have come through the back door, dropped off your, your, your cake of ice for the, for the uh, ice box. In the center of the house, we have this remarkable light well that brings natural light into the core of the home. Um, and we're also standing in space that is, in essence, borrowed. So instead of having a very narrow hallway, um, we, we're bringing in and, and we have, um, we're borrowing space, if you will, classic Frank Lloyd Wright from the living room. The whole thing makes the house, uh, although it's very small, seem much larger. We have this wraparound fireplace, again, the, the, the hearth of the home, bringing warmth and comfort to the center of the, of the house. And then uh, if you come into the bedroom, one of the things I like to point out as you walk in the room, your mind is carried or your mind's eye is carried immediately across the room and outside. So instead of in the bedroom, for example, that I grew up in, we, we had a door and, and you looked at a blank wall. But Frank Lloyd Wright brings you into the room and takes you right outside and it, it actually adds and, and makes the room feel that much bigger. Um, and then we have these marvelous built-in cabinets um, that uh, are Wright's design. Um, Wright didn't want to clutter um, and, and use up space with a, a lot of furniture. And so uh, very common in a Frank Lloyd Wright designed house, you'll see a built-in cabinets like this.
If you were interested in building an American system built home, you would go to a builder's office and, and the builder would have a set of drawings and diagrams like this that would help you to pick modules or parts or components of the house. In this case, we have um, the design for an, a living room and a, and a um, dining room table and a chair. Um, so this gives us really a great guide and uh, blueprint, if you will, for the furnishings that need to be in this house. Um, there is a, a, an isometric drawing like this for the Model B1, and in the drawings, it'll tell you, uh, frankly, I would have suggested a bed and a chair and some tables. Um, in the living room, there'd be a pull-out table, as we saw in the other room, and some chairs. And right down to the breakfast nook, and he's even drawn in sort of to give you the whole experience, uh, the plates and the tables and the silverware, if you will. So our next step is to actually furnish the home uh, as it might have appeared in 1916. To check out tour times, log on to the Frank Lloyd Wright in Wisconsin website.